What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are trying out some post-ban Simic Ramp. Uh, obviously the big card here that we lost was Grow Spiral, but we still have a lot of really awesome stuff for the Simic Ramp deck, and so I thought we'd give it a shot without that and just see how well it functions. Uh, we also get to play with another new, well, newish card, uh, Sublime Epiphany, which is one of my favorite cards from Corset 2021. It does so much. So for six mana, you get an instant speed and you can choose one or more of these. So you can choose all of them if you want counter target spell counter target activated or triggered ability uh, return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand create a token that's a copy of target creature you control and target player draws a card so generally you probably will get three or four of these you probably won't get all of them but for six mana at instant speed you get to do a lot of things uh, now in terms of creatures we can copy we've got really probably one of the best which is elder gargaroth it's a six six four five vigilance reach and trample uh whenever it attacks or blocks you get to choose one of these so create a three three green beast you gain three life or you draw a card uh really really good for five mana that's like kind of stupid good so really excited to be playing with this i love this card very very much we haven't seen a lot of it on the channel so i'm excited to see if we can get it working uh, not to mention, uh, there is a lot of just kind of built-in card draw with a deck like this. We've seen it just in these two cards, but Uro also helps us get there, as well as Llanowar Visionary, uh, and of course Hydroid Crisis. So we've got a lot of card draw to kind of keep us moving forward, hopefully getting to this Nissa uh, to kind of double up on our mana, as well as kind of just get a bunch of little extra creatures out. Uh, a lot of the deck in the early game is focused on the ramp aspect, so our Boreal Grazer obviously clogs up the board but puts out an extra land for us. Uh, Leaf Kindred, really, really good at ramping and avoiding things like Bone Crusher Giant or Shock. Uh, as well as the Grazer. Uh, we've got Llanowar Visionary, which again helps us draw a card, but also helps ramp us. Uh, Uro does the exact same thing, but also gains us three life and gives us an extra kind of beater uh, later on in the game. Cultivate pulls out a few basic lands, which is great. Uh, and then of course, Brazen Borrower here, really, really good at bouncing something on the opponent's side, but then also supplying a threat right afterwards. So really nice card to have in this list. Uh, and then of course, Hydroid Crisis as well. So draw us some cards, gain us some life, and get a really really strong threat out with flying and trample uh, in terms of lands uh, we do have 26 so we've got 10 forest six islands two castle vantress four breeding pool and four temple of mystery so that's the deck I'm really excited about it I think it's gonna be really really sweet uh, it's you know, Growth Spiral was definitely a good card. It was a very efficient card. The fact that you could leave it up on any turn uh, because of it being instant speed. For two mana, you got to draw a card and play an extra land, which was really, really good value. Uh, and it worked really, really well with things like Brazen Borrower, where you could leave up kind of both of them. And then depending on what the opponent did, you kind of react accordingly. Um, thankfully, uh, well not thankfully, unfortunately we don't have that anymore, but uh, we still have some really, really good stuff. Uh, that I think is going to make this deck really solid. So I'm excited to see what we can do. This seems like a great keep. Uh, we've got a turn two Leafkin Druid into Cultivate, and then of course Gargaroth. So uh, not to mention Sublime Epiphany, which is going to be like ridiculous if we can get it off. So I'm happy with this. Let's see what the opponent's going to do. Looks like a lifelink, uh, mono white maybe, list. Um, these decks can certainly be annoying, uh, but... Thankfully, the Gargaroth has reach, so not tremendously worried. We just have to really be conscious of, like, Banishing Light. Um, and this one, it looks like just blue-white flyers, which is a very good deck. Um, really wish we had the Grazer earlier, um, but that's fine. All right, so let's play this out. We'll go ahead. Whoops. Getting a little bit of lag, it looks like, but that's fine. Let's get a Leaf Kindred it out. We've had a lot of network issues this morning, so hopefully we won't have to restart. Uh, we already did once. I don't want to do that again. Um, I'm debating if we want Cultivate or the Visionary actually next. Um, let's see. What would be the best play? I think probably get the Visionary down and draw a card here. Um, I think that that makes the most sense. Okay, Temple. Um, we'll actually definitely keep that. That's fantastic. Um, again, Gargaroth coming down next turn, hopefully going to be really good, but we do have to last. 
um, which is going to be a bit tricky, I'm not going to lie. But we do get to gain three life as soon as this blocks, so that might help us a good bit. Sure. Okay, well, let's hope we can get there. Um, yeah, well, I guess we just play the Gargaroth. Uh, can we actually survive this? Probably not. Go ahead and scry here. We'll actually keep that. Um, I don't think we live, right? So we can block here. We gain three and then take minimum four. So I guess we do live if nothing else happens, but chances are something else is going to happen. Although if that's all they did last turn, that's not really the biggest deal in the world. Okay, that's a problem. Yep, also a problem. And another problem. Okay, so I think... Oh, very, very good. Um, yeah, I think we just die, but... <laughs> Down to one. Okay, so what can we actually do is the question. Probably not a lot. We can Brazen Borrower, doesn't really help us. We can Sublime Epiphany, doesn't really help us. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and concede. Whew. If they hadn't had quite so many, if they had had one less thing and we could have lived with the Gargaroth, uh, we would have been in great shape because we would have gotten to copy it, bounce something, done a really good amount of damage to him the next turn, but that's okay. Uh, let's jump into game two. Uh, we'll, of course, do our normal three game set uh, and then follow that up with another three games. So hopefully you'll be able to check out six full games with this one. I really like this deck. I do think it's very good. Uh, it didn't lose too much uh, in the in the band, but, um, you know, it did run into the issue. Some of the decks at least were running. Oh, do we keep this? This is a very interesting hand. Um... We'll try it, but this looks bad, I will say. It looks a little rough. Uh, we'd really like to have, like, a Leaf Kin Druid or a Grazer. Uh, but it did lose the ability, not the ability, but it it lost the um, the best kind of reason to go Bant, I think, uh, and pull in that white for Teferi. Because um, I do know some of these Bant ramp decks were really, really good, but Teferi was a really key reason as to why. Um, and obviously we don't have that now, so... Uh, interesting that we, we kind of got a more focused version of the deck out of this, uh, but is it as good? That's kind of the question, so. Okay. That actually gives me a little bit of hope, just because, um, hopefully we're not going to be in a position where we're just going to get mutilated early. Uh, we do need another land pretty badly here. Um, wow. Four color. Oh, it's a Honden deck. Okay, well, didn't see that coming. Um, oof. I was banking on drawing a land because we do have 26 in the deck, so I didn't think that was too unlikely. Um, but here we are. Uh, a Leaf Kindred would have also been a pretty live draw. Um, so chances are we're just going to lose because we are, we're, we're mana screwed here. But we'll give it a shot. Uh, Calyx is a really cool card. I really like Calyx. <laughs> of course it was a tapped land. Uh, nope. We need land. Um, yeah. This isn't gonna go well. Um, Calyx in general is gonna be a, bit, uh, a pretty big answer to whatever we do here. Um, thankfully, I mean, this coming turn we do have a few options, but it's not great. Yep, and there's the Sanctum. Yep, yep. A Grazer. Um, hmm. I think we play the Visionary. Uh, just so we guarantee our next land, or not guarantee our next land, but we at least have something on the field that can tap for mana, and we can hopefully get two things off next turn. Um, what do we discard? Probably just, uh, we'll discard an Uro. Grazer I kind of like just because it's an easy like next turn we could go Uro into Grazer or Visionary into Grazer and it's not amazing but it's something um, that can block you know these little guys here or something uh, kind of just hoping they don't minus three on Calyx that would be terrible
see what they do. Yep. All right. That works. Wow. We are, uh, without a land, we are just screwed here. That kind of sucks. That happens. I mean, you can't help it. Um... Nice. That's a very good card. Alright. <laughs> yes. Attack with the, the Grazer, please. Send the message. Alright. Ugh. Oh no, this is terrible. This is so bad. Um, let's do this. Again, just because we kind of have to. <laughs> we can't even play the Grazer. Ugh. Alright, we're just gonna, we're gonna concede here. <laughs> There's no way. Um, they're about to get more Sanctums out. There's just not a reason. All right, let's go to straight to game three <laughs> after two pretty terrible losses. Uh, hopefully, we can at least get one win with this deck this video. Um, I do think that that game in particular was just a, an issue if, if you didn't get lands, you're, you're going to lose, so that's fine. Uh, let's jump into our last one. And do we keep? Um... Because we have the Leaf Kindred, I'm more apt to keeping this. Uh, we do need blue pretty heavily here, but we've got, again, a pretty, a pretty high land count, so... And we've got early game stuff, so I'm not too worried about that. And another adventure deck. Okay. Uh, a second Leaf Kindred is not actually bad, just because it's an extra play if we don't get anything too great in the next few draws. <clears throat> do that let's throw out the druid next turn we have visionary uh if we'd like it so i'm perfectly happy to do that wow nothing from the opponent's side that's a little unexpected okay let's do this draw our card temple very happy to see a temple there and we'll keep that land on on top so looks like we could get nissa uh this coming turn they just gave up. We were having some weird games. We're going to give it another one. Uh, just because we were like on turn three. <laughs> that was a little ridiculous. We're only 12 minutes in. Yeah, let's uh, let's give it one more game. Uh, hopefully we can at least get one decent game. That would be nice. That would be lovely. Let's see what we can do. Um. <clears throat> All right. What do we got? Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. We got a turn one Grazer into turn two Druid, potentially a turn two Visionary. Definitely a turn two Visionary. <coughs> Excuse me. And we get to Scry here, which is kind of nice. Ooh, that's a very good card. Um, I'm going to keep that. <clears throat> I know we're not going to like play it right away here, but that is just such a strong, strong card. Uh, looks like we're just against Demir. Uh, Flash Demir, which is fine. Let's play a Visionary. Chances are this just gets quenched. Oh, guess not. It's fine by me. Um, alright, we pass. I think we have an okay matchup against this deck. It's not great, because they do run counter spells, and obviously we've got some big stuff that we don't want them to counter, but, um... We do kind of a decent job of clogging up the board, so um, hopefully we'll be able to, to keep things going here. Uh, let's try for the Leaf Kindred first. And it lands. All right. Play the Temple. Opponent thinking. Let's see what they do. Slither Wisp, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what they, they might have here. Uh, we do have to worry about the Great Shark at some point. Um, no, actually, I don't think we want that. I think we want a uh, Gargaroth if we can get it. Um, then we'll pass. We're not going to attack. Okay. Sure. Two of the Night Bonders here. That's pretty good. Ooh, they are short on land. Let's do this. Let's try for Anissa. Chances are this gets countered, and that's fine. We could have also just left up the Epiphany here, but I don't think we need to. Very surprised that that actually stuck. Very glad it did, but very surprised. Um, 
Kind of surprised they flashed that out now, but sure. I think they should have done that in, res in response to me attacking. That way they could have really surprised me there, but I guess that works. Okay. Uh, I'm just not going to attack. Um, I'm all too happy to trade things off here if need be, but we're in the game of staying alive, especially if they don't have lands. Like, it's kind of fine. Uh, we'll try for Nissa again. Hmm. Okay. I mean, yeah, you bounced a land. I mean, you got a really nice creature out of the deal, but like... We've got blockers for days, so I'm not really worried about that. Um, we also get to bounce that at some point if we'd like. We really just want like a good solid creature to copy with Sublime Epiphany. Um, next turn is going to be hopefully a pretty big turn if they don't bounce the Nissa. Ooh, nice. Very good. Yeah, we're bouncing the crap out of that. Um, that's fine. You can bounce a land. That doesn't matter. They're not really setting us back all that much. They found their land. That's good. And of course, we just block here. It's fine. All right, um, let's play this and we'll do this. Not worried about tapping it for mana first. Um, two, one, two, three, four. So we can actually just play out a grazer here uh, to have a additional blocker and still leave up this. Am I correct in saying that? Yeah. Thanks to Nissa, we can. Uh, we also just get to do this. Um, all right. Let's see what they do. All right. Draw a card. Create a token. Return and counter. Oh, and we can do this. <laughs> Target a spell. That one. Wait, what? Yes. I think that's correct. Uh, target non-land permanent. Do this. Ah, no, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, hold on. This is very curious because we've got a lot of stuff that we need to actually do. <laughs> okay, so target this, yes. Uh, target non-land permanent. We want to bounce this. Target creature, this. Target player, me. I think I did that right. Yeah, okay. And we got to draw a couple cards. That's pretty good. Did we not? So that's a little weird. I think we tried to counter that. I guess it did, didn't work. That's a little confusing when you've got a lot of triggers on the stack, it looks like. But that's okay. We just clicked wrong, apparently. Um, all right, well. Let's play land. Do this. Throw out this little guy. Get another land down. Uh, with Brazen Borrower, I feel a little strong or a little more comfortable kind of attacking in here. We're being very aggressive because, I mean, they do outvalue us at some point here. We'll let things resolve first. Taking a lot of damage with these Slither Wisps. That's just such a good card. It's very, very good. Um, okay. We'll see how they decide to block, if at all. Okay. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and bounce that. And we'll just play it out. All right. Take the opportunity to play it now just because um, they didn't have any counter magic up. This is a very interesting match. Um, so the worry is, I, I don't think they can kill Nyssa, which is great. That means we get to ultimate, which means we have indestructible lands and just get a ton of lands out. Um, oh, that's a good card. Well, that changes things, doesn't it? Um, yeah, that means they get to bounce out the, uh, the Nyssa here. Alright, fair enough. You got it. Glad we have the Brazen Borrower to at least block that. Um, not looking great here, just because they've got onboard damage that uh, we're going to have a hard time getting around. And just card advantage. I mean, look at their hand right now. They've got 10 cards. <laughs> We've got two, and they're the same card we can't double up on. Uh, what are we hoping for? A Gargaroth would be nice. Uh, Sublime Epiphany would be okay. Um, well, there's the Gargaroth. Uh, yeah, let's play Nyssa. Let's do this. Let's play Gargaroth. And, yeah, I think that's it. This does, I mean, they didn't counter it, which is good, but they can, they have like a million ways to bounce, so that's going to be a problem. Um... Because they can essentially just do that, flash something out, bounce it, deal to, draw to, and then keep things moving forward, which I think just means we, we end up losing this game. But um, these Slitherwiths are just so good. The one thing this deck does not have a lot of, uh, which it doesn't necessarily need, but it doesn't have any removal, really. It has some bounce and some tempo, but it doesn't have anything that's really going to do, uh, you know, permanently deal with this kind of stuff. And so in these situations where they've got on board just damage dealing stuff, uh, it's very difficult for us to really do much about it. Um, which, you know, it is what it is. It sucks, but... Let's bounce that. Kind of surprised they didn't just bounce the Gargaroth first, but whatever. Um, does this actually work, I guess, is my question. Cool. Alright, well. Hmm. What do they have, potentially? Probably just a Brazen Borrower. Oh, or just that, duh. Alright, so if they have one more thing to just play, then we die. So that's good. <laughs> hey, look, they had it. Um, Alright, well, you got us. Whew, they just had so much stuff to do. That was really, really well done. Uh, good job, opponent. That was fun. Alright, well... We got four games in technically with this one, so hopefully we will have better luck in video two. Uh, we will jump into that pretty immediately, so hopefully we can get that up for you guys very soon. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below if you did enjoy it. And of course, subscribe uh, if you are not already. We certainly have a really great group of people here, and we really appreciate everybody uh, supporting what we do. So thank you guys so much, and I will see you very soon with video two of this post-ban Simic Ramp deck.